Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. Harriet Tubman Dreams come from within us, a place where we reach for our greatest hopes and our greatest aspirations. Sometimes it's small, and sometimes it's so big our wildest imaginations cannot keep up. Years ago, we started this project to find a way to make dreams come true for the seniors who live in our communities. Our teams went after this idea with great passion. When all is said and done, the program brings us not only closer together as a team, but more importantly, as a family both as a team and with our residents. Come along as we see dreams come true at Potter Ridge Assisted Living in Red Wing. Let's go inside and see what we can find out. Hey, made it to Potter Ridge. I'm here with Jamie. And you know, one of the things that a lot of people have when they start thinking about this program is how hard is this program to put together? It actually came together a lot quicker than I thought it would. You know, we formed a committee. Everybody knows somebody. The community was really excited about jumping in and doing what they could. And yeah. I think every dream we did has all came true, too. So did you put a committee together here, or how did that all come together? Yes, we had Potter Ridge staff form a dream team to make this happen. Hi. Hi. Are you ready for today? <laughs> yes, I am. Very Are you excited. excited? What, Very. Kind of, what kind of stuff can we have to look forward to? Um, lots of exciting surprises. One lady is going on a hot air balloon ride this summer. Yes. yes. Uh, she has no idea. Fun. Another lady submitted to have a cookbook um, prepared for her, and she has no idea that she's actually receiving it today. So. Very cool. A few months ago, our team of directors got together and brainstormed. We didn't know how we would pull it off, but we knew if we banded together and worked hard, we could make it happen. We are humbled and overjoyed with the community outreach that we have received. Because of Red Wing community and surrounding areas, excuse me. You got this, Paige. You got it. You got it. <laughs> um, businesses and individuals alike, we are able to make 25 dreams come true today. We are so very grateful and thankful for each person who took the time to be a part of this project. <sighs> we will thank each, each of them individually um, during and as we close our program so we don't give away any of our surprises. Um, but with that being said, we're going to start our program and we hope you enjoy. Outreach has generously donated today all of the art supplies she needs, oh as well as art classes. Yeah. Darlene's dream was to go on a convertible ride. And Jerry Peterson has donated his time and his convertible to take her on a ride and they will decide together what that will happen this summer. Yeah. But now he'll be able to roll around Potter Ridge in style. Um, so we hope that um, answers some of your dreams, Duke. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Fabrics so that you can go out and get the material for those shirts. For your oh, I couldn't take it for anything else. <laughs> Shallow and see if it's like it used to be when I was in my teens. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you'll also get a tour as well. <laughs> so here's that for you, Mary. Yeah. Have a drink for oh, wow. you. Okay. Um, however, we were able to pull it off and we have it to give to you today. So our 25th dream. Unfortunately, she passed away last week. And she was very, very near and dear to my heart. So, um, in her honor, we have had a birdhouse made. 
feed us. She loved to feed the birds, and she did that for us at Potter Ridge. And since she hasn't been here, everyone's been wondering. So we have a birdhouse made with her favorite Bible verse, and we'll be hanging that up in her honor. I'm going to read it to you. And the Bible verse is, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. But she will be deeply missed, and I am very sad she wasn't here to see this today. Um, but this would have been one of her last wishes, so I hope we can honor that for her. 